Good morning, good evening, and good night. Welcome to another exciting episode of Pokemon Go. So there has been another leak from Data Miner Charles. Let's cover it. Just really quickly before I talk about what Charles found in the data stream, I also found out that I missed a particular thing from the teardown yesterday. Meteor Mash has been added into the code as well, which is a signature move for Metagross. Does that mean after Chikorita, we're getting shiny Metagross? I would love to see that. I love that white crazy fool. He is absolutely spectacular. And if Megas do come, that'll make me even happier. All right, so this is what Charles found in the code. Right next to me, a bunch of new shiny assets have been found in the game. But there's a few weird things in there, like shiny Corsola. That's a regional. Are we going to see a regional shuffle? Don't know yet. There's no nothing in the code, nothing anywhere really written. We're just going to have to wait and see, because that's not the only shiny regional in the game. Well, in the code for the game. So you've got Corsola. Heracross. Like, I'm just going to randomly look at a few things and point them out. I continue playing pictures next to me. So you like Heracross, Wobbuffet, which we already knew, because like Wobbuffet's already in the code and it's already in the game, so that's not a big surprise there. But you've got like Einko and Giraffering, which is a bit different. Shiny Slowking. So are we going to get Shiny Slowpoke soon? I kind of hope so. I don't know what he looks like, but that'd be cool. Politoed. Like, again, does that mean we're going to get Poliwhirl? And that line, that would be epic, because we haven't seen any of them go shiny yet. Sudowoodo. You know, a few people would be excited for Sudowoodo. Shiny Natu and Zatu. They look pretty cool. They're a bit of a different tone, but, you know, they're still pretty cool looking. My boy, Shiny Snorlax. Doesn't look like this. Doesn't look like this. Shiny Snorlax look epic. Blue, green, looks fantastic. My favourite shiny of all time, Shiny Ditto has been added to the code. I'm kind of excited for. Again, you've got like Shiny Taurus. That's random, like, how are we going to get that in the game? Mr. Mime, again, random, really different looking. I'm confused by how we're going to get them in the game. Talking Mr. Mime, tomorrow's episode is going to be of the babies of Gen 4, and Mr. Mime's a fairly important part of that. I kind of really like Starmie. That colouring is really cool on it. Shiny Kangaskhan. Again, how are we going to get that? I'm sorry, but Tangler? You look nothing different. You look the same as you did yesterday. Your shiny doesn't look any different. Well, if that is your shiny, that is. Chansey? Not keen on the Chansey. I like Rhydon and Rhyhorn. They're awesome looking. Licky Tongue looks funny as hell with the gold body. Wheezing. They don't, they kind of look a bit different. Bit of a tone change. Executor. I'm liking the golden front. That's pretty cool. Krabby doesn't look much different. I'm not so keen on Hypno. Pink doesn't quite look right on them. Onyx looks like he's made out of gold, which is, you know, pretty cool. Tony Farfetch, again. I'm very interested to see how they're going to drop that in the game, considering they've already done a worldwide release of Farfetch. So we're just going to have to wait and see how they do that. Slowpoke and Slowbro. Yeah, I don't think I like their shinies as much as I do Slowking. I very much like Golem as well. I like the gold colour on the rock Pokemon. It always looks good. I also kind of like how Rapidash and Ponyta have like white flames. Oh, sorry, blue flames. Just makes them look a bit more ghosty. It's cool. Then there was... These are the whatever Pokemon, let's be honest. And then we've got Shy Totodile and Fralegator into the goat. They look really cool. Hootoot, not so... I don't really dig the gold colour on them. Even Sentra doesn't look that good. Shiny Alakazam looks pretty cool. Shiny Typhlosion. Yeah, not too bad. I like the kind of tone colour change. I like the Shiny Arcanine. He looks kind of cool. Different colours. Psyduck looks pretty cool. Golduck, again, looks pretty cool. Like the colour changes on them. They're just subtle changes, but they look very cool. Diglett. Don't dig in the Diglett. The blue nose is just stupid. I kind of like the Paris change. The darker colouring on him looks very cool. That gold bat doesn't look any really... He looks different, but I don't really dig it. Wigglytuff looks interesting. Just say that. 
nine tails like that looks amazing again looks like ghosty kind of coloring going on with them i love that nindo king that looks really cool as well nindo queen not so much but nindo king i dig it idiot and Firo don't look that very good either they the gold doesn't really match them i don't think metapod i dig the red hue of metapod that looks cool kind of wish that Butterfree was the pink one from the show. There's a little bit of pink there, but not much. I love shiny Steelix. That looks amazing. I like shiny Miltank. That, again, that looks really cool. The blue. The weirdest thing there, Gorbrish, Tacleon. Two Pokemon that aren't in the game yet are now finished. Their sprites are in the game. We could potentially see them sooner than we think. Again, Smeagol also. Smeagol is also in the code. I'm pretty keen if we drop them soon. Polygon Z. I love that colouring. That looks so cool. I absolutely love the purple colouring of Seeking. And even Mantine looks pretty cool. So are we going... The biggest question is there I have. Are we going to see Delibird come back at Christmas? Considering they've now added the shiny of Delibird into the game. Shiny Lapras is going to kill everyone hunting for it everyone's going to be like oh shiny lapras give it to me now thank you very much for watching i love you until tomorrow which is the babies of gen 4 night clasher signing off